Hi guys, it's Big Al, and welcome to Non-League, the Premier League with Kirsten Ashton here in Big Al Sports World. Well, today we're up against Chester, who are top of the league, and as you can see, form has been highly mixed since the last time you guys were here. So you were here for Darlington 3-1 defeat to Darlington. Absolutely shocking result. But look at this, we went out and beat Leamington, who were top of the league at the stage, by 6 goals to nil. Palmer got two, Lofty's got a hat trick, and Brady with a thumping header towards the very end. I thought, great, we're on a turnaround. Then we beat third place, Alfreton, by two goals to one. Kenny and two guy. I was like, excellent, we are turned our form, excellent. But no, reality came back in, Kenny gets sent off, and Boston with a late winner. Then we went and beat Northwich, 3-1. <coughs> Excuse me, in the FA Cup second round. To come back in the league to get destroyed by bottom of the league Chorley 3 1. Then we got through 0 0 with Woking, who were 8th at the time. Then we went and beat me in 2 1 in the cup. Two guy out an OG. Then we went and beat Kidderminster, who were right below us in the playoff spots, with Kenny and D Almeida getting the goals. But then we went out and lost to. A team in the relegation zone again at the time was Stockport County by a goal to nil. Then we drew one each with uh, Sutton in the FA Cup, so qualifier. So that meant a replay, which then pushed the game back. We then beat Sutton on their Nevada Marama National League by two goals to nil. David Off and Forte, the two new players, have come in and they both scored goals. This is Forte, he's a winger. And he can play up front. And as you can see, he's not so bad. He comes in, does a job, bit of a backup player. But this guy, this guy is special. He's Russian. He was released by Spartak Moscow, uh, what, two months before? I basically went on to Transfers World and players released by their clubs. And he was just sat there with... He was on trial at uh, Tronisio in Russia, but we offered him a contract, and he accepted it. Now, he's not the best striker in the world, because he's only a youngster, but he has passion, he's got technique, he's got vision. He has basically the best player we could have at this team, other than Luke Lofts. He's actually better stat-wise than what Luke Lofts has stats, but... He hasn't come in flying. He has scored one goal in like three games. But, you know. And then we went out and lost 2-1 to Harrogate. So, we had a team meeting. Agreed that we were uh, not meeting targets. Agreed that we would change our formation to suit what we have. So we've done that now. But you can see the reason why we had a team meeting. There we are. Down in 10th. Not even in the playoffs anymore. We are seven points behind Chester, who are on a losing run themselves. So I think they've lost three games in a row now. So that's good news for us. Um, we have a game in hand, which looks like it's going to be against Salford. So if we can win today and win against Salford, we could drop that seven points from the league leaders. Because I'll give us six, down to one point, and put us back in where we need to be, which is back up in here. And ideally, that's what we need now. We need to win against Chester today and against Salford in our game in hand to actually win. Look at this. Workington, who were way down near the bottom, are now up the eighth. So even Stockport, whenever they... <coughs> they're now up the seventh. Says it a lot. This league is very, very, very tight last this year, this year compared to last season where Darlington and Tamworth run away with it. But also, and the good news is, guess who we get in the FA Cup first round? Actual first round proper. We got in the actual FA Cup first round proper. And we get Tamworth. So, well happy about that. Unfortunately, we had higher get in the qualifier of the FA Trophy, which, after our last performance against him, I'm not looking forward to it. But anyway, on to today's team. A uh, change of tactic. So... In goals, we have Gokic, 
Across the back, we got a Do, Brooker, Brady, and Leggett. In front of them, we got Amida, Grant, and Kenny. And an attacking three of Two Guy, Palmer, and Davidoff. And hopefully, this will do better for us. We have retain possession, exploit the middle, get stuck in, be more disciplined, play at a higher tempo. So basically, we want to hold on the reset onto the possession, play a lot faster, be disciplined with the ball, disciplined without it. But whenever we don't have it, put the challenges actually in and play straight through the middle because we got the diamond in the middle. We should be able to do that. On the bench, we got our new signing goalkeeper Paul Wilson. I'll show you him quickly. As you can see, pretty decent. He's on a play per pay contract as well, so he's not actually paying him any wages unless he plays. He was released by Newcastle, so thanks very much Newcastle, we'll take him. Kyle Storrs, another free transfer, again on a play per pay wage, which is better. He's played a couple of games, Cheltenham in League 2 released him. So we stuck and matched him up, to strengthen up our midfield options. You really met Forte, so you got Alito, Forte and Greenwich on the bench. Greenwich is on the bench to replace Palmer if things are going too well. So let's get stuck into it and see if we can finally get three points in the board. Because it looks like pre-season and all them victories at the start have just wore off. And the players are looking dismal since Luke Loss has been injured now for... He's out what? He was originally out five months with a broken leg. So since he's gone out injured, we have been atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. And why is it every time I record, does my phone start binging? But whenever I'm not recording, it's silent as anything. So, Chester in the blue and white stripes. We're in the yellow and black. Well, lime green and black, I would say. More of a colour. And already Chester coming at us. Brady picks up the loose ball. Oh, terrible ball led by Brady. Why don't you just play it down the line, kid? And oh, effort plays well wide. See what I mean? As soon as I record, my phone goes. Bleep. Here we go. Leg it. First attack for us, hopefully. Palmer. He hasn't been great or prolific. Plays it in. Oh, no one there. Almeida beat it. Brady beat the ball, but Grant gets back, thankfully. And I do pumps it forward for Davidoff. And Davidoff's in. Davidoff! Oh, put it wide. I thought it went in the back of the net for a second. You're already. Jesus Christ. Injuries to my strike force is unbelievable. Davidoff. He's going to have to hold it up. Grant. He's found Kenny. He lays it back to Brady. Leggett. Grant. Kenny. What can he do? I know this formation works. We have played it. We played it against something in the first leg and drew one each. And then we went back to 4 4 2 and beat them. Two guys out on the left. He's just come back onto the pitch. Whips in a beautiful ball. Palmer! Oh, too easy for the goalkeeper. And we will. Oh, Grant. With the free kick. Whips it in. Oh, easy cleared. Back to Grant, though. David off Palmer. Kenny. The Almeida. Oh! <laughs> and I was just about to say to you guys, we were offered the SC Flife interview here in the Vamarama National League, but we declined it. I do. Grant. So yes, we were offered the SC Flife job, but we declined it because this isn't a journeyman series. It's a one club series, and we tried to uh, off the bar. Ugh. We try to get this team promoted the whole way to the Premier League. Leggett whips it in. He's found Grant, but he goes all the way back there. Do oh, Do's first touch was a bit heavy. He's found Kenny, Palmer, it's a bit tight in the box there isn't it, Grant, beautiful ball in but oh, Davidoff was, Davidoff was not equal to it, free kick Grant, oh Grant hit the wall man, gotta do better now, that's because Hartley's not on the pitch, they hit free kicks, oh, tackle by Williams, but will the highlights stay on or is that it? That's definitely changes. We haven't. 
we just dominated the first half. Both clubs are on pretty poor form. I'm just hoping that ours, with a couple of wins that we've had, and they've had nothing but defeats, we can actually continue with a couple of wins. Oh, David off. What was that? And Chester's getting the highlight. Can we intercept? If we lose this game, our league is over. And it's their corner now. And we're on counter attack, so if we can win the ball, we should be able to counter attack. Brady pumps it out. Nobody at the edge of the box. It's too far. Kennedy gets there. David off. Can you use your speed? No, he fouled him. Free kick to Chester. Gokic has not been in great form all season. He's fallen out with me too. The whole team fell out with me during the meeting. Because they were blaming me. I was like, well, you guys haven't exactly done it on the pitch either. So you can't just blame me. And they didn't like that reaction. Well, it's true. They're the ones on the pitch. I only give them a tactic. Actually, I don't have to be giving them any tactics. Just told them to play their game 4 4 2. They can't play it. I give them tactics now, and they still can't do anything with it. As Chester are looking more and more dangerous the later the game gets. Grip ball in, 1 0. Attacking. Grant with a free kick. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ, man. Just whip the fucker in. What's that short fucking pass about? Oh, yeah, just to give it away and let a counter attack happen again. <sighs> Getting fed up now. Palmer, Greenwich. If we don't get promoted by next season, there's. This, this series is going to be a disaster. David off. Palmer! What an equalizer! What an equaliser. David off. And at long last, Palmer has actually scored a fucking goal. It's taken Palmer long enough to score a goal. Like, leg it. Store. Kenny. Grant. I do. Don't see him up there off them. Palmer! Come on, Nash! Holy Palmer's starting to find form at last. Oh, where has this been all season, Ali Palmer? You've been in and out of the squad like a yo-yo. You've been injury pro. Yeah, well, every time you come back, you've been awful. And wow, and I do the left back found himself in a territory he's not used to. And Palmer there with a the finish. Oh, dude's just been booked. Didn't even let him get back into position, you cheating little toe rags. Don't get sent off. There's the equalizer in it. Fuck me, Gokic finally saved the save this season. Woo! Go Gokic! Gokic with a goal kick. We're right into the 87th minute. Up for Palmer. Can he win it? He flicks it on. Kenny's there alone. Kenny, can he square it back? Grant! Yeah! Grant, 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 the two attacking midfielders have finally got a goal between them. And it's 3-1 the Nash away from home. And I was just saying at the start of this game that Chester were on a very bad poor run. And I thought they were going to come good against us. But Palmer with a nod on. Kenny with great football, great cross. And Grant, the attacking midfielder, popping in. Free kick to us. Grant pumps it in. David Off couldn't get on the end of it. And it's a free kick. David Off was offside from the free kick. Really? We're into the final second. Come on, Reds, blow up. Yes! Palmer and Grant. Woo! We finally got a combination. And it looks much, much better at the t top half of the table. Great result for us. Where did that leave us in the table, though? Are we back in playoffs? Let's just give him a passionate. Very happy with the result and the way he's played. Much better from being 1 0 down to win 3 1. 100% win tackle ratio for a do. Unbelievable. Says we're still 10th. No, we were 10th before that game. 
Are we still 10th after winning that match? Come on, show me the league table. Nope, we are back in the playoffs. Woohoo! Right. So we got a game in hand still against Salford. How did Salford do? They won 3 0 against Bradford PA. Great. Okay, so Salford on a good run. We're on mixed form. So, 25, 28 will get us with goal difference. Will get us up at least the fourth because we got the better goal difference over uh, C. Telford and Kidderminster. So that could get us up the fourth, which would be 28 points. Which only leaves us three points off Leamington. And we still got to play Chester, Leamington, Alford for a second time this season. And obviously everybody else. So hopefully if we can stop losing stupid games to lower league teams. We might actually cut, get the gallery and actually win a few games. Well guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, hit the thumbs up button. Leave any comments you wish in the comment section. I'll respond to everyone as soon as I can. And if you're new to the channel, well hello. And hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our other content. Because there's plenty more to come here on Big Al Sports World. Well guys, thanks very much for coming and joining us. Have a good one. All the best now. Bye.